Many mistakenly believed that he was crucified on Good Friday. Now, if that were true, let's count the days and count the nights. Remember, Christ said three days and three nights. We'll count those nights from Friday to Sunday and see if it fits. Does that scenario fulfill the promise of Christ? Sounds like three, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but is it really? Now, if you check your Bible, it says that he was put in the tomb at sunset. So let's begin counting. We have Friday night. That's one night. Saturday day. That's one day. Saturday night. That's a second night. And then Sunday morning. That's a second day. Now, when we think about it, if a Friday crucifixion were true, what do we find? At most... Jesus would have been in the grave two nights and two days. You see, there's no way to get three days and three nights into that scenario. It just doesn't work. There'd be about 36 hours, uh, technically only about a day and a half. It just doesn't add up. And did you notice something interesting? It didn't even add up to just parts of three nights, not even parts of it. So, so that argument falls flat. Jesus said, I would be killed, I'll be dead, and then later I'll come back to life. And not just any old way, and not just after any old amount of time, but an exact amount of time. Three days and three nights after I'm put in the grave. That was his promise, that was the sign. It would be an indisputable proof that he was the Messiah, the, the, the very Son of God. Jesus was crucified, not on a Friday, that scenario doesn't fit. He was actually crucified on a Wednesday and was resurrected at the end of the Saturday Sabbath. You can verify it, but you know, it's going to take an open mind and an open Bible because there's two important things that you need to understand. First, throughout the Bible, when they considered a day, instead of counting midnight to midnight like, like you and I do, they counted from sunset to sunset. That's a very important point. And secondly, the week that Jesus was crucified actually had two Sabbaths in it. First, the normal weekly Sabbath, the seventh day, from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. And then there was an annual holy day, an annual Sabbath that was observed on Wednesday sunset until Thursday sunset. Now keep that in mind, and let's see if the biblical scenario, what God recorded for us, adds up. You see, the fact is, the Bible tells us that Jesus died near 3 o'clock on Wednesday and was buried just before sunset that day. So let's add it up. Wednesday sunset to Thursday sunset, you've got one day and one night. Then we've got Thursday sunset to Friday sunset, two days two nights, Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, what does it add up to? Three days, three nights. You see, it does add up. It fits. There can be no doubt Jesus Christ was in the grave. Three days, three nights. He was already risen long before the women came to the tomb on the first day of the week. You can find that in your Bible. On the first day of the week, the women came to the tomb. But you know what? He was gone because he was already resurrected at the end of the Sabbath day. He was resurrected on the Sabbath. So the way that figures out is Jesus Christ's very words were perfectly fulfilled as you'd expect. He was the Savior. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. And he had to be resurrected at the end of the Saturday Sabbath to truly be our Savior. If he were resurrected on Sunday morning, there'd be a contradiction. There'd be a, a, a flaw in that prediction. And he couldn't possibly be our Messiah. But when you check out the facts of your Bible, Jesus came back to life at the exact time that he claimed he would. 